ABC News 4 at 7 starts now. A devastating day in Paris, France. One of the world's most iconic buildings, the Notre Dame Cathedral, caught fire today. You can see a live look here, also video from just hours ago. Tonight, the French president vows to rebuild using the world's greatest talent. A fundraising campaign will be announced tomorrow. The church's grand facade, two towers and belfry have all been spared. As devastating as the fire does appear tonight, we also heard one of the greatest art collections inside the cathedral has been saved. Investigators believe the fire was an accident. Much more on this developing story in just minutes. But first at Severin covering the state tonight, the murder of a 21 year old University of South Carolina student has shaken up the ride sharing industry. Safety now on the forefront. It's prompted new measures from both companies and lawmakers. ABC News Force Caroline Balchun is here tonight with what is being done about it. Caroline. Welcome back everybody. Improvements being made at a Folly Beach Park. Pirates Cove Recreation Area in East Area is currently closed right now. And the tennis and basketball courts are under construction. They are expected to be finished in September. When those renovations are done, do expect a grand opening event. And it's almost time to rock the rescue again. Dorchester Paws hosting its third annual music festival Friday through Sunday. More than 100 bands will perform at different venues across the low country. And last year, the event raised $24,000 for animal shelters. If you want to check out this year's band, a one-day pass will cost you 20 bucks. A three-day pass goes for $50. All right, tickets to watch the Patriots Point 4th of July fireworks blast from the deck of the Yorktown. <laughs> Have already it's sold not out. really there. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. This is the magic of TV? <laughs> it is. All right. Uh, general mission and VIP, but not to worry. You can still experience uh, all the excitement. No t ticket needed to watch the sky light up from the land, from the shore, just off the side of the big boat. Great option for a lot of folks. Still to come tonight, an ABC News 4 exclusive. An American hero needed a helping hand. How one veteran plans to use his battle with addiction to help other former military members. Plus... We're chalking up the 90s. It's not even July yet, and that's right. We've already seen 23 days where we've hit 90 degrees or hotter. ABC News 4 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Dave Williams. Check this out. We don't have to worry about this around here, but at a river up in Maine, look at that. Because of the eddy swirling underneath the waterfall there off in the distance, it formed a perfect disk of ice. And there you can see it, those tend to rotate. And there you can see it right in the corner of the river there. You get that perfect circle and the current going right around it, just continuing to push that perfect circle of ice up there in Maine. They can keep it. We are gonna get some freezing cold temperatures though. In fact, even colder than freezing. Last time we saw temperatures in the 20s was all the way back in January of last year when it was 29. Monday morning's low. Right now, this is being generous at 28. We 701 now in this morning's Fox Fast Cast. We're bringing you three stories that broke right before we came on air. The first up, President Trump already tweeting about a major hearing happening this morning. The president lashing out at his former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Mr. Trump said Cohen is lying in order to reduce his prison time. Cohen will testify to Congress today. The AP obtained the prepared testimony. It shows Cohen plans to show a check made out to him from President Trump for $35,000. Cohen will say that this was another installment of the repayment to him for the Stormy Daniels deal and other money owed to him. A van transporting disgraced former Cardinal George Pell arrived at Melbourne Assessment Prison. Pell was taken into custody Wednesday and will be jailed until his sentencing March 13th. He bowed to the judge before he was led out of court by officers without handcuffs. This will be his first night in jail following his conviction of child sex abuse charges. Dozens of people showed up at Loudoun County Public Schools Administrative Building in Virginia last night, protesting a physical education game taught at an elementary school where kids were asked to act as runaway slaves. The local NAACP chapter is working with that school system to make necessary changes, but many parents say this isn't enough. We'll keep an eye on all these developing stories for you throughout the morning. Meantime, if you need a job, you'll want to hear this. There's a big job. Fair getting underway this afternoon. Alexandria Savage spoke with the organizers to find out what you need to know. Good morning, Tessa. This event is happening at St. Stephen Elementary. There's no community center in the area, so organizers say this school was a perfect central location to get locals out 
and possibly employed. A new study connecting commonly prescribed medications to an increased risk of older people developing dementia. Researchers studied records for 12 years in the United Kingdom. They found patients who took commonly prescribed medication like antidepressants, even allergy medication, increased their risk for dementia by nearly 50%. Popularity of 3D mammograms has skyrocketed, but are they better than 2D? Some say 3D is more accurate. However, evidence it actually reduces the number of deaths from breast cancer is lacking. Meredith Wood tonight takes a look in your Health Minute. For most women, when it comes to mammograms and breast cancer screenings, the standard 2D technology, which scans the front and sides of your breast tissue, has been the gold standard. Also the 10th anniversary of Farrah Fawcett's death. She was 62 when she passed away from anal cancer. The actress became a household name from the TV show Charlie's Angels. Fawcett and actor Ryan O'Neill were a longtime couple who never married but had a son. They split up for once for four years. O'Neill recently revealed to People magazine, quote, there was never a day I didn't love her. Actor George Clooney will play a scientist in his next project. He is signed on to direct and star in a feature film adaptation of Good Morning Midnight for Netflix. It's a novel by Lily Brooks Dalton. The new sci-fi thriller will begin production in October. And when we come back, meteorologist Dave Williams has a look at your forecast. After that in sports, is the biggest game of the high school season. That's next. College Football Saturday. Good evening and welcome to Sports 4 College Football Saturday. Thanks for joining us, Shirley. Plenty of Clemson fans tuning in after that showdown in Atlanta. A good one for Clemson. The Tigers have not struggled of late with Georgia Tech. The Tigers with a warm-up game against the triple option team, throttling Georgia Southern last week. The Tigers still rolling with two quarterbacks. Kelly Bryan healthy after leaving that Georgia Southern game at the half. Sports 4 making the trip down to Atlanta today for this one. Dabo and Paul Johnson. Seems to be quite an interesting conversation there. That one is just all Clemson all the time. 28-7 Tigers on top at halftime. Second half, how about more of the same? Tavian Feaster, the Spartanburg native, breaks off a 27-yard touchdown run of his own. All Clemson all the time. Tigers win easy. 49-21 is the final score. All right, let's head now live to Atlanta. Darren Stoltzfus, you were there for it. That's got to be a happy Clemson team, an easy win over a Georgia Tech triple option squad. Absolutely, Scotty, but this isn't one that Clemson fans can overlook comfortably just yet. If you look back at the history of this series, when Clemson comes to Atlanta, they've struggled before they won in 2016. They lost five straight in this building to Georgia Tech, but today plenty of Clemson fans sticking around to celebrate what was absolutely a Tigers blowout. The final score may not look as indicative of that, but maybe that's because Dabo Sweeney brought 72 Tigers today, dressed 72 Tigers, played all 72 Clemson players that made the trip to Atlanta. In the end, they come away with their first ACC win of the season, something they are very happy about. Uh, we really, we just kept playing. Uh, we know, uh, you know, like you said, it's tough to go up against a triple option. It's very unique. Uh, we had a lot of practice. Uh, you know, I felt really prepared going into this game. We all did. I'll check mark at the same gym, huh? Yeah, yeah. Out of yeah, the no. archives. Uh, rain that we're watching right now across the low country. Yeah, parts so of the low country. northern Dorchester County, uh, Berkeley County, that's where we're seeing some of those thunderstorms right now. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow afternoon, late in the afternoon, early in the evening, some of those storms could become strong or severe. So we're going to be on the lookout for that. And then spring's officially here. Mid nineties. Yeah. Goodbye, spring. Hot. Summer's been here a while. Yeah. Thanks for Let's watching. We'll see you back here again tonight at seven o'clock. Have a great night.